Today's video is gonna be taking a look at Claude code. Uh, I got access yesterday. So yeah, we're basically just gonna do a few projects here, run through some of the things you can do to make this work. Uh, it's not gonna be like an in-depth review or anything. I just wanted to try it out, give kind of my first impression. Uh, and yeah, see how this works. So we're gonna build a few things, just some simple stuff. And uh, look at a few tips I have, how I have been using this. So yeah, let's just get going. So the first thing you kind of got to remember when using Claude code is that uh, when you launch Claude, uh, it's kind of important that you are in the directory you want to work in. So I am in my game directory. You can see this in the background here in cursor. So when I run Claude now, we are kind of prompted here. Let's just select light text and I can start logging in through my account. So I just get here. Yeah, I want to connect my organization to this. Perfect, you are all set up. I can just go back here and log in successful, perfect. Okay, so that means I'm ready to start. I'm just gonna go in through some information here. Yes, yes. Okay, so here we are. Now we are kind of ready to type in our prompt here. You can see up here we are in our game directory here in apps, and that is the same directory I have here. So one thing I found out is uh, I wanted to add some preload some stuff into this directory. Uh, I have my env file with my API key and I preloaded some documentation here on how to use the Claude API. Uh, we have some tool calling if you want to use that. So that is pretty neat. You can preload some documentation in this directory. So if I do like read the docs, just an instruction here, uh, you can see now uh, Claude code goes into those directories here and read the documentation. Uh, I don't say you have to do that, but this is just an example of what you can do because this is the way I like to work with these tools like Cursor 2. I like to preload some documentation. I found out that, that kind of saves me some time when I'm working on a project. So what I want to do now is just type in a prompt, right? So uh, I pre-made a prompt here I want to use. So let me just copy that back here uh, like this so the prompt i want to use is let's create a dark team chat app that streams the response from cloud ai api the app should run in the browser the start should be an 80s terminal minimalistic team user to enter input ai will stream the response minimalistic just a terminal use anthropic api as uh, in use the AP, anthropic api in a dot env file so that is all I'm going to give it. So when we enter this now, this is pretty much our prompt, right? Instructions. And now we just get started working. So yeah, you can see it tries to correct. It couldn't find that file. So don't mind the API key here. I'm going to revoke that anyway. And now we kind of get into this. So you can see here, we want to create this file. Do you want to make edits to package.json? Uh, and I'm just going to say, don't ask again this session. And if you watch on the right here now, you can see it created a file, json, package.json. And yeah, we're just going to keep watching this now. It's working. And you can see on the right there, it's creating a server.js. And basically, it's like an agent. If you have worked on cursor, you set up some agents. It's almost like that. Uh, so I've been playing around with it, and I found it pretty good so far. It's kind of new for me to work in this environment when I'm really used to cursor, but uh, I made some cool stuff with already, so I'm pretty excited. So I'm just gonna let this run for a while now and we come back when we have something we can do here. Okay, so that was pretty much it. You can see it now it says uh, we can run this by using our browser, npm start. Uh, we can also do slash cost. Here you can see what we paid for this. So we paid 30 cents. So you gotta remember Claude uh, uses Claude 3.57 here, I think, this Claude code. And it, it is expensive. So you gotta be kind of careful how much you want to use this. So we got some instructions, run npn start and open localhost 3000. npn start, let's open 3000. And uh, let's just do hello. Okay, we got it. System operational. Write uh, a PyCode to uh, add two ints. 
So let's see if this works. Yes, this works. So it streams well. And we got a pretty cool small chat app here, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that. That was super easy. And you can see it really helped when we had our documentation here ready to go. So uh, I think that's a good tip if you want to start working with it. So now let's say you wanted to move this over to your GitHub, right? Uh, I prepared a repo, so we can just go here. Let's copy our repo and we can go back to Claude code here. Uh, I want to push this uh, to my repo, boom, paste. And it can help with this. I found that pretty helpful. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so we want to do an init, yes. Probably wants to do an add. Remote V, okay, so it's gonna check. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we have a different origin, but let's change it up. Now we're probably gonna add this, Claude chat, good, yes. Good. We do an add, yes. We do a commit, yes. We could also just accept everything here, but I just wanna see this. We do a main branch and we do a push, yes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we can go back to our repo here, refresh this. And you can see we have it. Here it is, push to our GitHub. We have a readme file, some instructions, how to set this up. So super easy, we even created a git ignore, so we didn't bring kind of our env files over. And that took me like, I would say, from this, from we started, to we created the chat app, to we pushed it to GitHub, to be ready to work on. I would say it took me like 10 minutes, maximum. So yeah, that was pretty smooth. So it's kind of unusual for me to work in this Claude code, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying it out. Uh, but I'm not sure if I prefer cursor or this. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna keep using, but I think I might try a bit of both. Uh, but let's finish this video by trying to create some kind of game. I just wanted to try a simple game. I've seen a lot on Reddit and stuff, people trying to make these cool games using Claude 3.7. So let's try to do that while we are using Claude code here. Okay, so the prompt we're gonna do is create a web browser game called Ski. It should be a 2D side-scroller ski game where you control a skit stick mad skier with arrow keys, jump in space, should be a forever freestyle mode, jumps and rails, perform flips and grinds, simple graphic, pixel art, optimize for good responsive control, smooth gameplay, build the game in a framework, mods language you think is the best will work for the stick man ski game. So we're just gonna let this run now and see if we can get this game to work, I have no idea. So yeah, let's just let this run and come back. Maybe it will work one shot, I doubt it. So let's try to do some debugging and see if we can get this Stickman ski game up and running. Okay, so that was done. So let's try to open this now. It's just to open the index HTML. So let's do it. Okay, we got something here. You can see we have some instruction at the end here. Steer, lean forward, while in the air, rotate. Oof, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's try it out. So I'm gonna space. Okay, so the jumps work. Okay, we can move forward. So you can see we are grinding. We got some rocks. Okay, not the worst. Okay, how do we get over this tree here? <laughs> we seem stuck here. Okay, so we got a bug here. You can see we are collecting flips though. So we can do some flips. Okay, so let's try to debug this. Let's say we can't get over this tree here. And let's make it, let's make some changes. Okay, so the changes I wanna do is some issues. We can't jump over trees. Also don't flip the skier with the jump. This must be done manually. Also make the map a 20 degree descent from left to right to make it feel like we are skiing downwards. Speed will increase because of downhill and make a new grind animation. So just some changes to see if we can actually do this and we'll come back when we have implemented those and let's see how this works out. Okay, so while these are working, let's create some music. So I'm gonna just go to Suno, instrumental, 90s retro ski game music. Just gonna create an mp3 file 
and then we can probably add that some background music to our game, right? Okay, so let's go and refresh this. So I'm gonna do a refresh. Okay, I don't hear any music. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, here we got it. So we can zoom in. Okay, we are grinding. Maybe not the most interesting game. Okay, so we don't get any rails, but yeah. We're gonna stop it. Yes, that wasn't too bad. Uh, we didn't spend a lot of time on this. Uh, but I saw we ran a lot of loops here, so let's do the cost. We spent 1.8 dollars. That was quite expensive. So, total duration was 11 minutes. Uh, let's check if we can count the lines of code. Yeah, okay, so the project was 1410 lines of code for 1.8 dollars. But the game didn't turn out perfect, but uh, it wasn't too bad in just a short amount of time. But uh, I think I would have a bit more control if I had used cursor. But uh, I kind of enjoyed the agentic workflow here. It was pretty smooth. Uh, but I kind of lost a bit of control. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with the integrations we made. And yeah, pretty interesting, pro pretty interesting software. So I'm going to keep exploring with Claude Code to see what I'll, if I like it. It's very easy to go into your existing project, right? Because we can just do... Because you can, of course, just go into your existing project, launch Claude, and then you kind of are straight into your environment. So that is something I think is very helpful. I'm going to keep testing this, but this was just kind of my initial reaction, initial reaction and kind of my first impression. So like I said, I'm going to keep trying out this, and I recommend you try it out too. Uh, I only tested this on Mac now, so I haven't tried it on any other operating system, but it seems to pr work pretty smooth, to be honest. So yeah, that was kind of my impression of Claude Code. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you, maybe this gave you some idea what you can expect, and you probably want to go out and try it out for yourself. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you again very soon.